Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be sharing a homemaking style video. You guys always love these because you guys get lots of cleaning motivation, but also some recipes as well. So today, of course, I, as you can see, I have a lot to clean up, just kind of get our space nice and tidied, but I'm also going to be sharing three brand new recipes that I've never shared with you guys before. I'm not sure if I have a favorite, but I know they are all delicious and definitely family friendly. So I'm super excited to share those with you guys today. This is a little bit bittersweet because this is going to be my very last homemaking video in this house. There will be a few more videos after this one in this home before we get moved, but this is the very last homemaking one. So the last one that will be like cleaning and cooking in my kitchen. And it's just a little bit bittersweet. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and I hope you enjoy the new recipes that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys, but we have a lot to get done. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So by now you guys know the drill. I am going to be starting out in my kitchen and just getting everything kind of tidied up. As I had shared, I do have several recipes to share with you guys today, but before we can start jumping into all the food and yumminess, I wanted to just get everything nice and cleaned up. And I am so thankful that you guys love these homemaking videos, honestly, just because I feel like this is part of what I really love to share here on YouTube is just my love of homemaking. I have always wanted to be a homemaker growing up. And even though homemaking can be a very monotonous thing, you can definitely get very tired of it because you're doing this same thing day in and day out. You are cooking, you're cleaning, you're taking care of your family, just, you know, kind of all of those things that are very rewarding, but also they can be seen as just doing the same thing over and over again every day. And I think sometimes we can start to lose that love that we have or some of us might not even enjoy that at all. And so by sharing these videos, I really want to help encourage you to just take a moment and kind of appreciate that and appreciate what you're doing for your home and what you are doing for your family and for yourself. It really is such a big deal and it does make such a difference, even though sometimes I know we all kind of feel like, why are we doing this? Why are we cleaning something if it just has to be cleaned again tomorrow? Why are we cooking the same things over and over again? But it really does make a huge difference. So I would love to hear in the comments, what is your favorite thing about homemaking and whether you work outside the home or you're a stay-at-home mom or you work from home, whatever the case may be, we are all homemakers. We are all taking care of our homes and our families and there's tons of different ways to do that and it looks so different for everyone, but I would love to hear what is your favorite thing about homemaking? For me, one of my favorite things is actually keeping a clean home. I know I don't always do it. I struggle sometimes. I know we all do just in different aspects of our life, but I really do have pride in keeping a clean home for my family and just the peace that it creates for my family to live in. So 
So I have been getting a lot of questions about when exactly we are moving to Arizona and on the day that you are seeing this video, we are moved out of our home. But I did film a few other videos for you guys so you have two more videos after this one. It will be a packing video and then also an after dark video and that is going to be my very, very last video in this house. And then in just a few weeks, we are going to be moving into our new house in Arizona and at that point, I will start sharing all of the new house videos and the home tour and everything so stay tuned that will be coming very very soon and if you're not already subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on that as well as so many other videos that i have planned for you guys So this is something that I love to do. I have done this for years and years, but if you've noticed that your sink is starting to smell a little stinky or a little funky, go ahead and drop a few drops of essential oil right in the drain and it will make a world of difference. And it doesn't matter what brand or anything, you can just use whatever you have and it will work great. So before I get any further, I wanted to say a big thank you to StoryWorth for teaming up with me on today's video. I found out about StoryWorth a few months ago and right away I fell in love with them and what they do. Basically, StoryWorth is an online service that helps your mom, your grandma, mother-in-law, really anyone you love, share their stories and memories in a way that can be saved and shared through a personal keepsake book. How it works is every week StoryWorth will email your mom or whoever a different story prompt, which are basically questions, a lot of which I had never really thought to ask myself. And then they can answer the question by sharing their stories or memories and even include pictures if they want. And then after one year, StoryWorth will compile all of the stories, including any photos, and turn it into a beautiful keepsake book that shipped for free. So I recently gifted this to my mom for an early Mother's Day gift, and it was so perfect because I really struggle with knowing exactly what to get her, and just like most moms, she loves sentimental gifts, so this was just perfect and so special. And I love that this is something that our whole family can enjoy forever. So when I set it all up, I was able to have the email prompts be selected by StoryWorth as well as written or picked out myself. And it's already been really neat to hear some of the story responses that my mom has submitted. Some of them have been stories that I heard as a kid but forgotten, and then some of them I had no idea. Like, I found out she actually didn't get her driver's license until she was 19 years old. And I've also got to hear about some stories of her growing up that I just never heard before. Just the whole concept of this has been so cool, and we're already planning to gift one to all of our parents so that we can have keepsake books filled with all of their stories to read ourselves and with our kids. It's just such a cool thing. So give your mom the most meaningful gift this Mother's Day with StoryWorth. And you can get started right away without the need for shipping. Plus $10 off by going to storyworth.com slash thiscrazylife. And let me know in the comments who you would gift StoryWorth to and why.
All right, we are making some great progress. Everything is looking nice and clean, minus the floors. They probably look pretty good to you guys on the camera, but they definitely need a good vacuum. And then also at the end of this video, I am going to take my vacuum apart and deep clean my vacuum because that's just something that I've been needing to do. And I know a lot of you guys have the same vacuum as me and have been wanting to know how to clean it. So I figured I would go ahead and do that later on. <laughs> Also, you can probably hear Emma. She is going ahead and just getting herself a little drink right now. <laughs> and she always drinks super loud. But anyway, we are going to go ahead and get the floor looking nice. And then we will get to the recipes. When you let those words fly out You really reach for that mm -hmm. But I bit down, held my tongue You really went deep for that mm -hmm. I tried to tell you what you know We have everything all nice and clean. The sink is clean, the kitchen is clean, the floors are clean. It's looking good in here. All right, the first recipe that I'm going to share with you guys is lemon basil orzo with chicken. It is so good and so perfect for summer and spring. It's just super, super refreshing. So I will go ahead and have a recipe card as always up here on the screen so that you can go ahead and screenshot that if you'd like. And let's go ahead and get to making this. So the lemon basil orzo pasta is so incredibly delicious. It's great hot, it's great cold. You just cannot go wrong with this. 
But the first thing that you're going to do is just boil a pot of water and you're going to want to add salt into that just like you do with every pasta. And then you'll cook your orzo pasta as directed. And then while the pasta is cooking, you are going to season your chicken tenders with salt and pepper and garlic powder. Next in a large skillet, preferably non-stick, over medium high heat, you are going to add in some olive oil. And then once your oil is hot, you are going to add your chicken tenders in and cook them about two to three minutes per side or until cooked. And then once they are cooked, you're going to remove your chicken from your pan and keep them warm. And I personally like to kind of chop them into bite-sized pieces so it's easy for my boys to eat, but that's totally optional. Now, once your pasta is all cooked, you are going to drain that and stir in about two tablespoons of olive oil just to prevent it from sticking. Next, in the same skillet that you use for the chicken, you are going to add in about two tablespoons of butter over medium high heat. And once that has melted, you are going to add in your garlic and your chopped onions and just cook that for one to two minutes, stirring consistently. Next, you're going to add in some white cooking wine, and this is going to help deglaze the pan, getting all of that yummy chicken flavor out of the pan by scraping bits loose with your spatula. Then go ahead and reduce the liquid by half, which takes about three minutes, and then you will add in your fresh squeezed lemon juice and turn off the heat. Finally, in a large serving bowl, you are going to add in all of your orzo pasta and then toss in some grated Parmesan, your onion and garlic mixture, freshly torn basil leaves, and salt and pepper to taste, and then also your chopped chicken. Then all there's left to do is just mix it well and enjoy. And like I said, you can serve this warm or you can put it in the fridge and eat it cold the next day as well. Ready, putting on my sweat too some days. You just gotta let loose, hit every street like a dance floor. Alright, the next recipe that I have for you guys is actually one that I got, I wanna say it was from Skinny Taste like years ago, but I've been making this recipe since I believe back when we lived in Georgia, and it is a Cuban picadillo. I don't know if I'm saying that 100% right, but it is so good that it just doesn't matter if I'm saying it right or not. It is such a delicious recipe. It's super, super filling, super hearty. You can serve it over multiple different things like rice or mashed potatoes. Pretty much however you have it, it's just perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and share that one with you guys right now. All right, the Cuban picadillo is such a just comfort food. I love it so much and it has such a delicious and unique flavor. So what you're going to do to start is just brown your meat in a large saucepan, just breaking up with a spatula. This meat spatula is actually my favorite and I have it saved in my Amazon favorites. If you don't have one, it will just change the game for cooking ground meat, but go ahead and just season that with salt and pepper. And what I like to do is actually while my meat is cooking, I will just chop up all the produce and then set that aside. And then once the meat is cooked, go ahead and drain that if necessary. And then next you're going to add your produce to the meat, cook that on low for a few minutes, and then go ahead and add in some green olives along with two tablespoons of the juice from the olives. And that will just give it a lot of extra flavor. And then also you're going to add in your seasonings, which is cumin, bay leaf, and additional salt if needed. And then once you have all of that added into your pan and stirred up, you're going to add in your tomato sauce along with a quarter cup of water and mix well. Then reduce the heat to low, add a lid, and simmer that for 20 minutes. And that is all you have to do for this recipe. It is so incredibly easy. We like to have this over rice. You can have it over potatoes. In tacos and burritos, there are just so many delicious options. You will love this one. So let me know if you try this one out. It is so yummy. last recipe that I have for you guys today is lemon poppy seed muffins. These ones are not like 100% made from scratch, but they are really quick and easy to make. And I got this recipe from my friend back when we lived in South Dakota and it is so good. It's again like super refreshing. I feel like anything with lemon is just extra refreshing and delicious and perfect for summer. Whether you make them for a special occasion or just to have on hand, they are so good and everyone is going to love these.
So this is one of the most simple baking recipes you will find. What you're going to do is soak your poppy seeds in milk for 30 minutes to two hours. I will say this is optional. I have done both ways. I have soaked them and I've not soaked them. And to me, there really isn't much of a difference other than there are slightly softer seeds. So if I remember to do it, I will. And if I don't, I don't really sweat it. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there. And then in a large mixing bowl, you are going to mix together your lemon cake mix along with your instant vanilla pudding mix. And then you will make a well in the center and pour in your water, oil, and eggs. Now you also can substitute the oil for applesauce, which is what I'm doing here, but that's totally optional as well. Then you're just going to beat that on low speed until blended, and then you'll blend it on medium speed for four minutes. And then once that's nice and blended, you are going to stir in your poppy seed mixture. Next, you're going to pour the batter into your greased muffin cups and bake in a 350 degree oven for 15 minutes or until a toothpick can be inserted into the muffin and come out clean. Then you are just going to let them cool and you can go ahead and start enjoying them or you can make a little lemon glaze. All you're going to do for this is add some fresh lemon juice along with powdered sugar and you can add vanilla extract if you would like. This just gives it a little bit of like a more lemon burst flavor I feel. So I love adding it. My kids kind of like it without but either way you can't go wrong. This is such a simple treat. All right, we have all the recipes made. Our family ate dinner and now I think the only thing I have left to do as far as food goes is I want to prep out some salad, some romaine lettuce so that we have salads throughout the week and then we are going to tackle all of the dishes that we have sitting in our sink and then I'm going to clean my vacuum for you guys and show you how I do it. It has been a while since I've done it, probably about three months or so, and it's looking pretty rough. I usually like to do it like every two months maybe, but it just doesn't always happen. So we are gonna get it done today because I have a lot of cleaning in this house once we get everything like taken out and just I need to like kind of go back through and deep clean it once it's pretty empty. And I really wanna make sure my vacuum is looking good, working good, and yeah. So let's go ahead, get that remain chopped up, and then I'll clean my vacuum. So I feel like I usually share a lot more food prep and produce prep in my homemaking videos, but I guess I just didn't have a whole lot on this day whenever I was filming this. But if you're interested in seeing my weekly routine, whether it's my cleaning routine, my food prep routine or whatever, I did just share a video last week. So I will have that one linked up in the iCards right here so you can go ahead and check it out. But I do share a lot of tips on how to create your own routine that will actually stick. And then I also share my personal routine as well. And there's a lot of motivation in that as well as lots of tips.
accept defeat And we don't hide, no Just find the light in honesty Cause I've never been good at telling stories Yeah finally have the dishes done so I am going to show you guys how to clean out my shark apex uplight just because I know a lot of you guys have the same one as well but it's probably like pretty similar no matter what kind of vacuum you have so here we go okay so you are going to start by taking this top piece off I'm just gonna pop that off and then we're also gonna take this filter out in here can see it's all dirty in there. So first I am just going to be washing out the canister with soapy water. On this particular vacuum, there is no electrical parts in the canister, so it's totally safe to wash it with soap and water. And then once I have that all washed out, I give special attention to the filters, again, just washing them with soapy water and just making sure to completely rinse them until the water runs clear. So this is something that I just personally like to do, but I will add just a few drops of essential oil onto the filter and it just helps make the vacuum smell a little bit nicer as you are vacuuming your floors. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and lay those pieces out to dry and start working on the actual vacuum itself. So here I'm just starting to wipe down everything with a damp cloth. And then once I get that all nice and clean, I am going to move down to the floor nozzle and I'm just going to disattach the roller and actually wash that out with soap and water as well. It's cool that you can even see the color change on the before and after on this and just see how much cleaner it really is and if you don't clean your vacuums every couple months or so I would definitely suggest doing it it will make such a drastic difference and how will they clean your floors and one thing I do want to know is just to make sure that you let all the pieces of your vacuum dry completely overnight before putting them back together So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I hope it gave you lots of homemaking inspiration and cleaning motivation and maybe even sparked a little excitement for homemaking once again. I also wanted to remind you to go ahead and check out StoryWorth. I will go ahead and have that link down below so you can go ahead and save $10 when you check them out. I hope you guys are having the most amazing day. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!